Hello, my friends. Natalia with you. Uh, you might remember I show you this awesome knitting machine that I received from DIY Digital Art. I do have a video part one that I did some product review. I will link it up for you. Hopefully, I remember. And this been sitting now for one week almost in my house, and I didn't even open because. Um, certain thing you know uh, and today I think I will try to assemble together with you first I want to say thank you very much to DIY Digital Art for providing this machine for me to review to you um, alright so I did not even look inside everything is packed as was tape so what I did I have to open from this Maybe it's still some part is taped. Okay. No, this is taped. Okay. Oh, maybe we can open. Okay, here is tape as well. Uh, I need the scissors. Just a minute. Um, where is my scissors? Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I thought. I thought I cut stickers everywhere already so we can open I guess we will start kind of maybe from the side in here okay now we should be okay and I am really interested to see no one more sticker one more sticker on this side I'm totally opening from wrong side you know that Okay, never mind, we will cut everywhere. Okay, okay, are you ready? I'm nervous and I'm excited at the same time. Okay, I have to turn around because the way it's packaging is. Oh, I didn't know they have a yarn with it. That's already a surprise. I thought it's going to be only machine in here. So I guess what's in here on this box, as you can see. So that's the colors of the yarn that's already on the box. Uh, what do we have here on the box? We have on the back in here, have to start knitting have to assemble mm, it looks like it's pretty much already all assembled is it looks like it's all already ready we just wow okay there's a something in here greasy or wet what is that what is that because i was wondering um what that was it looks um Maybe some kind of oil. I don't know. I will have to wipe because something greasy uh, Because when I look on this box, I thought you know one of the side and here you can see the kind of looks like a wet uh, I thought maybe it got under water or something because it was only uh, In a bag like this uh, black bag, right? Uh, but it could be um, uh, some kind of oil machine you know like you would have an sewing machine to make sure that um, everything is um, works smoothly and I might well have to wipe I have in here usually when I do a video unboxing I use I use my Lysol wipes so I will have to wipe it right now because it feels wet and I don't know what that is not just the wet feels like feels like greasy so maybe that's like a machine oil or something in here so we're just gonna wipe it so I don't get my hands too dirty well to be honest my friends I thought that this will be all in pieces but it's already all assembled basically okay so now container go away and let's see what we have in here so in your package you will receive base machine you will have 
uh, stand like a legs uh, you will have uh, four pieces of different yarn in different kind of uh, some of them smaller, this two smaller pack and this one two bigger one. Uh, here is the quality of this yarn. Here, what does it say? Knitting accessories. Doesn't say how many meters in here, but feels, feels nice. What we have in here? Mm -hmm. It's just show you how to assemble legs to this machine. Together I have this little section. So if you work on a table, you don't want your machine to move. There is a section up there. But let's see first yarn. Um, I, I was hoping it's going to be like how many meters of yarn in here to know. But there's nothing that can tell us. So here's the dark blue color. Then we have gray. This one is much smaller. And brown. Kind of look more like a greenish on the camera, to be honest. It's more soft kind of brown color in here. Uh, from far, no, still show, you, show me on the camera a little bit different color. Okay, so we have four pieces of yarn. And then let's put this little bit aside in here. Uh, and we are going to, or maybe we should look first this piece. Looks to me, my friends, that it's a really nice, sturdy, uh, sturdy, good plastic. I would say it's a good quality plastic. We have in here, uh, count your rows, meter, kind of. Every time you go, you, you count whatever you need to count. Right now it's on a zero. Uh, I have to learn how to have this work yet. Uh, I guess maybe when you turn on this, uh, here's your handle, then when you turn, you okay, I will turn slowly so you can see what is going on right in here. Okay, can you see that? That's how it's gonna grab your thread. And I just wanna run a few circles. I want to see if this is automatically gonna count for me a row. So I will just go kind of like a little bit quicker for now. It's a little bit not comfortable because I don't have a legs yet on it. But let's just turn. I'm not sure where I started. Oh, there you go, see? automatically it's changed to one so we finish first row that's wonderful um, I thought I will need to push button by myself to create that uh, now let's see what else we have well this is really actually exciting because I want to create my first hat I used to knit in my hands just like you know with the uh, metal knitting tools in my 20s, 18s, I knit a lot of clothes for myself. And this looks pretty awesome and easy to do. So if you have a little kids and you need to do some winter uh, hats for them, this is definitely a way to do it. And also I did review from DIY Digital Art uh, this ribbon that you can uh, cut in a little pieces and stitch to your knitting designs. This has a uh, handmade. Uh, I will link it up for you that video. So we have in here four legs that will go. We have some extra needles if we need to stitch our project together after you already finished. So we have um, two sides. I mean three. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, so three size of needles, plastic needles. How can I show you close? And the size of them from bigger to small one. I'm going this side. There, big, medium, and small, and you can see how much difference on a link they are. There, maybe over table you see better. I don't know like this 
Maybe we can zoom a little bit close. I don't know. Uh, yes, and then you have plastic crochet um, a hook. Zero seventy five, I believe. Let's see if it's on. Okay. Let's see if on camera we will see better. I think it's a zero seventy five of their size, right? Yeah, I think so. Or not? Yeah, I think. Kind of hard for me to see it right now. Uh, needles doesn't have any sizing on it. Okay, so here's the tools that we have. We do have a we do have a star screwdriver. Actually, a nice one. Not the not the cheap one. Actually, it's a good quality screwdriver. I like the ombre color from blue to red. Uh, then we have this very important piece. That's where our thread will go through. So we will have to assemble this piece. I believe somewhere, somewhere here, we'll see. <laughs> somewhere on the top. I, I believe it's somewhere. No, no, actually not on the top. It's, it's supposed to be go right in here something. There is an opening in here on the bottom. And let's see. This piece go, I believe, this way. I have to push it through those pieces. I just have to make sure it's in the right direction. Or this way. Okay, I will have to check with the... Uh, I'm surprised uh, there is no other directions in here, just this one. So first we will need to assemble our, and let me just check box if it's open, I mean if it's empty. Oh no, okay, okay, we do have it, it's still in the box, sorry about that. All right, that, that's make a difference, okay, that's make a difference. I like when uh, they have instructions. So here is the piece. Now this piece, because I was watching a long ago, uh, somebody, uh, I cannot remember the name, um, one of the YouTubers, she create lots of knitting designs and she was talking about this, this is your tension, thread tensions and in here on the picture they show you which tension you will get depends on which hole of this section you will put your thread. So this is going to be more loose, uh, middle point and more tighter, depends how uh, thick or loose you want your design to be created. Now this is our legs, uh, what is this, something red, hopefully nothing is broken, that's the most important thing, let's just double check. I have to say that this plastic, um, like a very good plastic, it's a thick plastic not flimsy. Here is the pieces that we'll have to insert our suctions. So this is what we have in here. Okay, we have a four suctions for each leg. So when you work on a table and when you start turn your handle, uh, the piece doesn't move all over place. And then we have uh, four screws, and that's why we have a screwdriver to assemble maybe these pieces together in here. Where they go, I will have to figure out yet. Just a minute. Let's not to lose them. Okay, so let's turn this upside down and very carefully because I have to hold this, this piece sticking out in here. Um, central name, central. So just like this because we have an inside part and outside and it's a little bit curvy if you can see. And it's curvy in here so obviously you have to stick like this, not like this, right? So 
we are going to do this now and see well that went really easy i thought it will be more difficult and i see now since i put this already in i see that i have in here right up there in the middle right in here let me grab this right in here that's we're going to put that screw okay I have to be careful not to break this piece in here okay so I will get one screw so this legs uh, I might have to push a little bit more further or do I have to maybe I will need to push a little bit more further to its click I have to see that uh, because I believe I uh, this this legs have to touch all the bottom only thing I need to do see kind of like may, could be scratches could be just a pain so this vibe that I had let me see if this will come out or not this could be it doesn't feel like scratch it, it feels like maybe some kind of marker okay it's not coming out maybe I will try with the uh, rubbing alcohol or something but that's not not big deal not big deal at all now let's do carefully put another piece well i'm really glad that to assemble it's so easy uh, because that piece that i think i watch maybe that machine is a little bit different because it was feels like she assembled even these pieces all together and this one is pretty much very very easy and i don't know if i'm after camera or not Okay, now I need to figure out if I think I need to push this all the way. You see how in here, I think I need to push hard so it's click all the way to the bottom. So I will have to do this. I don't know if I will be able to do this right now. Or I, or I have to ask my husband for help. Let's see. Uh, I really don't want to break it. <laughs> I feel like I need to push a little bit further till it's click. So I will be, oh, see like this one, this one gone all the way. So yes, it definitely have to go all the way to the bottom because it looks like this piece uh, touching plastic uh, with each other all the way, these corners. So I will put right now our screw Let's see if this one is magnetic. Sometimes screwdriver could be magnetic, so it's easy to grab. Let's see. No, this is not magnetic. Okay. Which one was this one? Can you see it? Can you see it? I don't know if I do it straight or not. Looks like it's going. Okay. Okay, so we did one. Looks pretty good. Here, if I can show you as close as possible. You see how it's flat touching the base. So it's pretty good. Now I just have to push all the rest of more further which I will do maybe this after camera uh, because I don't know if I can push them all because sometimes some of them resist and maybe I will need a little bit help from my husband now we're going to put the sockets in here those suctions literally we're just going to push them between those okay let's try this one because I see in here little piece of plastic that I have to maybe clean a little bit so we will go for the next one which should be easy as much as possible easy it's just my friends my my hands a little bit my thumb is sore so I just have to push it all the way
little by little. There, I think I got it. Okay. I got a one. Okay. Yeah. I got a one. I got a one. There you go. Just like that. So when it stays on the table, it will create suction and it will stay up. Ooh, it's already stick. I didn't even push hard. And then, okay, come on, come on. let's move it. Okay, to lift it, you just have to kind of like a lift the suction and will unstick from your table. So this way, and so when you turn, this will be staying straight, but of course I need to connect them all. And then the last piece, see, you have to unstick it to pull it off the table. Uh, now the other piece that I need to put, it's in here. Okay, I believe it's going to be this way. Uh, there's an opening in here and there's a little, if you can see, this piece right in here. So that's what you have to kind of aim and opening on one side, opening in here and opening up there. So our pieces, this, this piece and the other piece will go inside in here. Let's try it. We have to probably like push it together maybe to get this piece to, to, I will have to squish this plastic, hopefully, hopefully I'm doing right. Oh yeah, okay, it's, it's, it's flexible plastic in here, so let me just take a time. Okay, there you go. That was easy, and it's, you see how it's, it's kind of, it's moving, it's staying like this, and it's a flat on this side. I think I did the right way. Uh, I can definitely check what do we have in here. I should look first, but usually I, I do it by myself without looking at what's the right way. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, no, no, no big deal. I was just looking here, it's like everything in Chinese, right? But no, we have in here different language, so... English, I think it's only in English in here and Chinese. So yes, now I will just have to place all these pieces together and if you don't mind, I will um, practice a little bit so I know better how to teach you. So I will need a time to read this instruction. Uh, I will wait my husband till he get home and place for me this piece is more tight because with my hands I can't really push all the way like all the way deep and then I will ask him to put the suctions in here and then video next video we will try to do some some magic we will create some hat maybe hopefully okay so look looks great I have to say that this is look great Sorry about that, my, my time on camera ended up on me accidentally, well, not accidentally, uh, I don't know, I already ran out of the time, so I managed to do this by myself. I decided why do I have to wait my husband if I can just a little work harder and do. So I connected all the legs, I put screws on each point. I put the sticker suction into the each point. Now I forgot to tell you also about this switcher in here. This means you can switch to knit upwards or down. Depends what kind of setting you choose to create. Okay, so now if we put in here and kind of press down a little bit to get the suction stick to the table, now you see it's sturdy. So when I crank this handle in here, uh, we just have to get a little bit, maybe get this working because sometimes I feel like it's a little bit sticking because maybe it's brand new. That's why those oils may be seeping when I open. 
uh, we need just a little bit of work it to get this used to and every time I turn to the end of the row my meter will be counting for me which I you cannot see it let me just get this oh right in here oh, maybe I even will zoom for you so you can see the number let's see we will turn and let's see when it's going to change to number three there you see it's switched to number three and if you want to start new you just put, press this button and it's going to count for your new row. For example, if you create in your project with different colors and you need to count, for example, 20 rows of this and maybe 10 rows of these colors. So that's what's good for you. You count it. You, you don't have to, you know, make a marking in here to count by yourself as we would do if we would stitch, uh, knit them in our hands. But now you just make it 20, you push button and you count for your next color, which is really, really comfortable. Uh, I will have to do this. Uh, I will switch, not a switch, but I will create part three of unboxing, which uh, first part unboxing we did with you lots of cool stuff up there. This is, will be unboxing number two kind of review. I have to say that I like the way it feels. I believe this was uh, around $60 or something machine. It's not very cheap, but definitely much cheaper if you would purchase somewhere at Michael's. I, I don't even know if Michael's even have them. Um, yeah. So now I will just have to put in here 10 our threads will be going into here now I believe it's a 48 of hooks in here 47 48 yeah uh, 40 48 hooks we will have to put our thread in here and then your tension you can create if you feel like each thread could be in different thickness so that's why you have in here very very tiny one for the smaller thread if you your yarn very thin medium and um, a little bit thicker so i believe from my yarn will be comfortable to use this the very last one because it's more like bigger one if i find that it's maybe too loose i still can put on the middle or maybe for the middle row this one it will be better so I will try to practice in here. I still going to read uh, the manual and see how this will work because up there is explanation. If you lose some, uh, sometimes maybe something happen and one of the thread can come out from your hook. So you, that's why you have this tool to fix it. Maybe sometimes you have to use this plastic, um, plastic hook to pick it up your yarn to put back on on this uh, little uh, hook to to create the roll after that with this one definitely when you have to stitch uh, all pieces together so this is the good one for a finishing project so i will read i will practice and then i will come back to you so i can explain to you everything as needed so you can understand as much uh, as possible and hopefully I will explain it to you everything that I learn. So thank you so much for watching and let's create next time some awesome hat. How about that? Okay, so this is a very very neat machine. Uh, I believe for now maybe they have only this kind. I'm not sure if they have the one that like a more like a rectangle or square, uh, but check it out. Links I will provide under the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.